Netherlands, Estonia and Lithuania ready for sending their military to Ukraine. High-ranking officials in the Netherlands, Estonia and Lithuania do not exclude the possibility of sending their military to Ukraine, according to military media outlet. Several Western media reported on this, citing high-ranking officials. Officials of the country stressed that such assumptions are linked with support personnel who will provide training, help set up processes and do other work without being involved in hostilities. Estonian Prime Minister Kaja Kalas said that all options are on the table to help Ukraine defeat Russia. I think that these are also signals that we are sending to Russia that we are not ruling out different options because all countries have realized that we have to do everything to make sure that Ukraine wins and Russia loses the war. Kalas said on the Politico podcast, Kestutis Budris, chief national security advisor to the president of Lithuania, stated that his country is considering sending its instructors to Ukraine, but the priority is to support them with weapons and ammunition. We are talking about that possibility and we are doing this quite openly. There are a lot of nuances about what could happen and under what conditions, he said. Lithuanian Defense Minister Avidas Anosauskas also spoke about the possibility of sending NATO troops to Ukraine to conduct exercises. His counterpart, Dutch Defense Minister Ono Eichelsheim, also expressed his opinion on sending his troops to Ukraine. I think you have to keep all options open to see how you can best support Ukraine. Eichelsheim said, adding that there are other ways to help Ukraine. According to the Dutch Minister of Defense, if Western troops go to Ukraine, it should be within the framework of a coalition. Ecuador to supply U.S. with OSA AKM anti-aircraft missile systems which Ukraine may receive. The Ecuadorian Air Force is preparing to transfer six OSA AKM type MAPO 9M33 anti-aircraft missile systems to the United States. According to the plan, these air defense systems will then be provided to Ukraine, Info Defensa and Militani. The article mentions that the agreement involves the transfer of new American systems to Ecuador, the models and types of which are not disclosed. Additionally, the agreement includes training, support, supply of components and ongoing technical assistance. The current condition of the OSA AKM anti-aircraft missile systems that are to be transferred to the American side is also unknown at this time. In total, the ground forces and air force of Ecuador possess 12 complexes of the 9K-33 OSA AKM, which were previously purchased by the country from Ukraine. Earlier information surfaced about an agreement between the countries to exchange old Soviet-era weaponry with a total value of $200 million for modern equipment. This agreement was expected to be completed by the end of January of the current year. Ecuador's military arsenal includes many examples of systems and ammunition manufactured during the Soviet era or in Russia. It was previously reported that Russia had recently resolved a trade war with Ecuador through military assistance to Ukraine. Putin warned the West, Russia has weapons that can strike targets on your territory. Politicians in the West sought to weaken Russia from within, just like they did in Ukraine, but they failed, Russian President Vladimir Putin said in a State of the Nation address. They essentially would like to do to Russia exactly what they did to many other regions of the world, including Ukraine. Bring discord to our home and weaken us from within. But they miscalculated, the president said. It is absolutely obvious today. Vladimir Putin has warned the West that Russia has weapons that can strike targets on your territory, claiming allies have created a potential nuclear conflict which could lead to the destruction of civilization. In a State of the Nation address ahead of next month's election, Putin accused the US of wanting to ultimately defeat Russia and drag us into an arms race. Speaking to an audience of lawmakers and top officials, which was televised live nationwide, Putin said Russia was defending its sovereignty and security and protecting our compatriots in Ukraine. The Russian president addressed his remarks specifically to nations which have hinted they could send their own troops to support Ukraine. Earlier this week, French President Emmanuel Macron said he would not rule out doing so, saying nothing should be excluded. However, other countries, including the UK, the US and Germany, warned against the move. 
They need to understand we too have weapons that can strike targets on their territory, Mr. Putin said. He said Western rhetoric had threatened a conflict with the use of nuclear arms and consequently the destruction of civilization.